Good morning, Cindy Berkland here with cindyberkland.com. And let's get back into the naked truths or naked myths. And I want to do specifically a little bit more when it comes to reverse mortgages today. So call this part two on what we did yesterday. Now, when I talk about getting naked, it just means getting real and raw and honest about things. And I just feel like it's time to address some myths that I hear a lot with reverse mortgages. And I wanted to go into a little more specifics um, about reverse mortgage myths. So today I want to talk about, um, I think there's about seven or eight of them that I think that we really need to touch on. And the, the, one, the first one is that uh, the lender is going to take your home away from you if you if you die or you can't pay it. Well, you don't, for one, you don't make a mortgage payment on a reverse mortgage. But just so you know this, lenders are not in the business of owning homes. What lenders do is they make loans so they can earn interest. So there's always an interest rate on a reverse mortgage. Um, but what they're going to do is always when you pass away, your estate will inherit the home as usual. So if you have this design to go to your children, hey, that's going to happen. But the lender um, just records a lien on the property so that they make sure they're in first position to get paid back. And then any equity would go to your heirs. So that's, you know, you do the same thing with a regular mortgage. Um, the next thing that I hear is, oh, you could get forced out, out of your home um, as a senior. Look. Can you imagine the federal government forcing seniors out of their homes? No. Um, reverse mortgage are created specially, specifically for seniors to live in their homes for the rest of their lives. This is until death. And then also if there's this, the spouse, they're allowed to live in the house until they pass away. So this is for both seniors, um, depending on how the loan is written. Um most of the time you have to make sure the loan is written correctly. Um, I also hear that you can outlive a reverse mortgage. Reverse mortgages come due when all the homeowners have moved out for 12 consecutive months or have passed away. It's that simple. So a reverse mortgage isn't due until the senior has moved out for 12 consecutive months or died. That simple. Um, another one, social security can, um, mess up, I'm sorry, reverse mortgage can mess up social security or Medicare. No, um, social security is not affected if you do a reverse mortgage. Now with Medicare, in some instances, if this is, if you have needs based Medicare, which means you are under the poverty line and the government is paying for your Medicare, but you're in a reverse mortgage, there might be something where you need to check in with a professional on if that will be affected. But Social Security is not affected by that. Also, taxes. I hear that um, taxes, you, you pay high taxes when you have a reverse mortgage. Here's the deal on that. Money received is not considered income if you if you do a reverse mortgage refinance, okay, that's your primary residence and the cash out is not considered income. Now you have to pay property taxes. Always you're going to pay property taxes on your home. That's common, very normal. If you don't pay your property taxes on your home, you can get in trouble with that, okay? Um, but as far as getting hit with taxes because you do a reverse mortgage over a regular mortgage, not the case, okay? Um also, there's a big myth that reverse mortgages have large out-of-pocket expenses. Eh. Typically, closing costs are financed into a reverse mortgage, so nothing is out-of-pocket. Um, again, it's really important that you get proper facts from somebody that really knows. So um, I advise you get with a mortgage professional. Again, that's what I do. I am also a financial uh, planner. So you want to get with somebody that really knows these things. So let's have a conversation about this. Get a hold of me at cindyberkland.com or cindyberkland at gmail.com. Cindy Berkland here. Just wanted to say thank you for watching the channel. And if you want more content, just need you to click right here. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, clicking right here. If any of these conversations have interested you, please get a hold of us at cindyberkland.com or you can reach me at cindyberkland at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching.